friend Suzanne. We all know she was a Broadway baby. So when she came on, she was not uh, ignorant of how to behave and how to be a professional. I would like to thank her for always being on time, in fact, ahead of time. I would like to thank her for always knowing her lines, for having written down her blocking, for having mentored dozens of young performers. Uh, yes, yes, Ken, mentoring them and saying, if you don't know what you're doing, ask Suzanne how to do it. However, most of those kids are gone, <laughs> and Suzanne <laughs> is still here. On behalf of the wardrobe department, I would like to, to thank Suzanne for not changing sizes in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne for maintaining her beauty and her health at perhaps at the cost of her private life. Suzanne has truly been married to the show. Her work has come first. Her work has come first. Um, no time for other things because her focus has always been on the show no matter how the show treated her. In regimes gone by, she's been in the outfield for years at a time. She never came to work with an attitude or a, chip or a chip on her shoulder. She always came with a smile, with grace, expressed herself beautifully with the fans. As another member of the company, I would like to thank her for that. But most of all, I would like to thank her for her great talent. It's true that in 40 years, only four girls have have won the Emmy. That's a big deal, Suzanne. It's on my mantle. I'm not the only one who <laughs> loves her. I know that America thinks of her as their sweetheart because she's been true and she's stayed beautiful and she loves them. So the love has been returned. I don't want to steal Suzanne's glory. I just want her to know that there are hundreds of people who adore you and share in it and are so proud to have worked with you. Mm -hmm.